So pushy sometimes. I had no choice. He was about to snitch on us, my darling. Oh, oh, that's it. I'll ruin this play myself. Oh, oh. I never trusted that detective in the first place. We must dispose of him. The same way we disposed of... <laughs> Simon Squealer. <gasps> That's one of Sally's. We'll make sure that Barry doesn't find you and get his revenge. But if he did... <laughs> I bet it would really hurt. Huh. Thanks, Trap. That's just what I wanted to hear. Come on, let's do something. Sally could be in one of these buildings. Right. I've got it set to infrared. Someone's in there. Uh, let's give it a closer look. Um, closer? You really think that's a good idea? Sally could be in trouble. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. Uh, 
He's locked the door. Come on out, Stilton! And if Barry the Mustache comes looking for me, tell him I'm out! Out of town! If Barry wants to find Geronimo, he'll find him, no matter where he hides. In fact, Barry could be hiding in Geronimo's office right now! <gasps> I hadn't thought of that! <sighs> All right. I guess I could help you look around a little more, but nothing dangerous. Hey! That's all I'm asking for. Thanks. Tremors! Mm, that is odd. Normally, you'd expect that when a volcano becomes active. <laughs> hey! No cutting! <laughs> Priority lane! It's for VIRs, very important rodents, something you Stiltons wouldn't know anything about. Sally, what are you doing here? <laughs> Same as you, Cheddar Breath, covering the volcano. How's it coming with our passport, Simon? All set. Oh, might as well pack up and go back to New Mouse City, Stilton, because this volcano story is ours. Yeah. Think we bought it? <laughs> Since when has Geronimo ever ignored a big story? He'll be all over this fake volcano, and soon he'll be a laughing stock. <laughs> window all morning, and you didn't manage to steal a single story? Uh, no, boss. His windows sure are clean now, though. Oh. Look at this, Simon. Ah, yes, I see. Very interesting. Uh, what does it mean? Oh, this is the number of people who watch the Geronimo's News Report every day, and this is the number of people who watch our report in a year. Oh. No good. Are uh, you okay, boss? Maybe you should take a vacation like Geronimo. <laughs> Very funny, Simon. <laughs> Wait, he's taking a vacation? <laughs> yep, not just any vacation either. A virtual vacation using his computer. All it takes <laughs> is a couple of hours. <laughs> oh, Simon, that's the best news I've heard all week. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant is, with Geronimo out of the way, now's the time to carry out my super secret plan X. Oh, is that the super secret plan where you plant a computer virus on Geronimo's system, deleting all his best news stories for good? Simon, if you say my super secret plans out loud, then they stop being super secret! Oh! Bart! Doesn't he ever leave his office? I hear you could use some help. Oh, thank you, Professor. I most certainly could. Step into my office and we'll find you a job. In here, I'll clean my library. Tia, you start on the TV studio. Benjamin will help you. Ah, nice job, by the way. Very sparkly. 
Doing here? Oh, covering the carnival, of course. I thought you said you'd be quiet, Simon. You're wrong, Bob. Oh, there you are. Oh, hello, Roseman. I saw the camera. Goodness me, you got a whole film crew with you. No, these are just some, well, let's say friends of ours. Yeah, let's, because it's not polite to say the truth. <laughs> now, now, Benjamin, we should be going. Goodbye, Sally and Simon. Trying our best, Sally. We could use a bit of help here. Help? I don't know if you've noticed, but we're on vacation. Yes. I don't know how much longer I can keep plugging these leaks, G. This thing's got more holes in it than sweat cheese. Just keep trying, Sam. You're doing... Oh, this is the life. Hey, Simon. Next stop, Manchego Island. Something about the sea air. So... Refreshing! You're supposed to sail around the waves, Stilton, not through them! Lovely idea for a vacation destination, didn't I, Simon? No, you said, what an opportunity to steal a thing. I see you have our boat ready. Your boat? Well, this is our boat. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're here to steal our story. How did you even find out about it? <laughs> I downloaded your 24-7 news app. Get with the times, cheese ball. <laughs> oh, when I heard about your trip to Manchego Island, I said, oh, what a lovely idea for a vacation destination. <laughs> oh. What is the meaning of this disruption? Your game's up, book stealer. Why did you steal Ryan Rennett's autobiography? <gasps> Geronimo didn't steal Ryan Rennett's autobiography. Oh, no. Well, then who did? Ryan Rennett stole it himself. What? That is ridiculous. Why would I do that? For the buzz, of course. For publicity for his new movie. Ha! Don't make me laugh. A star like me gets publicity just by ordering lunch. Now, if you'll just give me my book back, I won't press charges. Give it to him, Benjamin. As long as he's willing to read the first chapter out loud. What do you say, Mr. Rennett? Just a sentence or two? Ha! <laughs> Well, I'd be happy to, but, uh, I need to save my voice. Uh, I'm starring in the new musical Man of La Manchego. Oh, I see. Or is it because there is no manuscript? <gasps> it's blank! was your plan to make it look like it was Geronimo's doing? <laughs> Mouse City? It's going to change the future of transportation and Stilton got the scoop? How did this happen, Simon? Uh, he's a good reporter. <laughs> I mean, you're a better reporter. <laughs> Miss Rasmussen? It's real, Miss Rasmussen, and I'm offering you an exclusive on my newest technology, the fully automated house of the future. I don't care about your wind-up toy, Cheaty. She's real. I'm hoping that an interview in such a, um, a fine publication as the Daily Lat will interest the financial community and allow me to complete my work. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Don't pester me with your crackpot nonsense. And you take this... Oh, I've got to scoop Stilton on the airship's arrival. I need to keep him busy. Get him out of the picture. But how? According to Mouse List Classified, Stilton took out an ad. He's looking for someone to help him around the house. I've already got a job. Not you. I meant maybe you could use it to your advantage. Oh, yes! I can and will! Oh. Hold on, cheesesteak! <laughs> Two million copies sold out! Oh, this is the best-selling 
wrong scoop in the history mm -hmm. of the Daily Rat. But, Sally, I didn't save him. I saved his sister. Small detail, no one cares. Now, put that costume on and get back out there. We have to milk this while the iron is hot. <sighs> <laughs> do I have to do this, Sally? It's science film, Simon, not mine. You should ask her. Of course, if you don't do it, you're fired. <laughs> Would you mind explaining what happened back there? Hello? I'm speaking to you. What's wrong with you? Hmm? Oh, I'm not sure. Helping someone for real, instead of faking it, and seeing that look on her face, it made me feel... good. Oh, don't talk like that. You need to get out there, be dishonest, and feel rotten like the rest of... <laughs> Too obvious. They'd spot it right away. More detergent. <laughs> This must be it. Or not. Oh, there it is. One, two, and one. Following me. It must be. Too late, Stilton. Sally will have that story on the front page faster than you can finish that sandwich. <laughs> Maybe that'll get those boneheads back on track. Uh, I don't understand why I always have to be the bottom half. It's to good use. For once, I'm not helping with any heist. That is what... Oh, rats! Oh, don't worry, your pretty little head. Right, Simon? I said, right, Simon? Affirmative. in the snow. They might be tears. The camp can't be far now. Look, Uncle G, a video camera. And it still works. This is an odd place to build a snowman. A van! 